This is going to be the outer covering of the brain right here. You got three layers. You have your dura mater, your arachnoid membrane, and your pia mater. In that order, you don't have to be able to label them. I mean, you probably have to just know that they're in a certain order and know it's the outer covering of the brain. So once again, it's the dura mater, the arachnoid membrane, and then pia mater. On the actual cortex of the brain, which is the outside, you have your sulci and your gyri. The sulci are these valleys and these grooves right here. That's your sulci. Your gyri are going to be these fatty hill areas right here. So sulci are the, the grooves, gyri are the fat areas. Your longitudinal fissure is the line that runs down the middle right here. Separating the two halves of the cerebrum. Uh, all the lobes of the brain are associated with the parts of the skull. So your frontal lobe is right here. Your parietal lobes are right here on the sides. Your temporal lobes will be right where your temporal skull, uh, bone of your skull will be. And then your occipital lobe is going to be this back part, still part of the cerebrum. It's not the midbrain, remember that. Right here, but it's going to be on this room. Your corpus callosum. Remember, it's going to be this white tadpole looking thing right here. And I do want you guys to know the purpose of it, and that is to send messages between your left and right brain. It sends signals between these two. It's how these two communicate with each other. Through the corpus callosum. Your thalamus is going to be this circle right here. It's going to be right underneath the corpus callosum. Underneath that, if you use your root words hypo, meaning below, this is your hypothalamus right here. Your pineal gland is going to be right behind the thalamus. It's going to be this little gland right here. This is your pineal gland. You don't need to know intermediate mass, epithalamus, or choroid plexus. Pituitary gland, it usually comes off whenever we take off the, uh, the meninges. But normally it's going to be right here underneath the uh, optic chiasma. I'm not going to make you guys memorize that. So your midbrain. Remember, it's the butt. It's gonna, it's the actual butt part right behind the cerebrum, above the cerebellum. Right here. This is your midbrain. You want to look at it on this side? It's right here. It's kind of cut in half. This is your midbrain. Uh, your pawns are going to be the first bulge. On the, this is all your brainstem right here. The pons is the first bulge right here, and your medulla oblongata is going to be the second bulge. Yeah. Your cerebellum is this part, this back part right here. It literally means little brain. And the only part that you have to know in the inside of the cerebellum is your arbor vitae. And I believe it means white tree. It's this white tree part right here. See it here too. Arbor vitae. You guys only need to know three ventricles of the brain. Your first one is going to be your lateral ventricle. It's going to be inside your corpus callosum. Right here, this is your lateral ventricle. And know that a ventricle is just a cavity or a hole or something like that. When you think of like your heart, you have two ventricles, right? It's the same thing in your brain. I'm not quite sure how many you have, but you only need to know three. Your lateral, your third is going to be below the midbrain. I'm sorry, above the midbrain. It's going to be this cavity right up here. This is going to be your third ventricle. Your fourth ventricle is going to be below the cerebellum and above the brainstem. This is your fourth ventricle right in here. That's all you need to know in the brain.